Do you need to create a payment order form with limited stock? Let me show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm, I'm Kimberly, and when setting up your payment forms, sometimes we want to sell things with limited stocks. Now, we have a variety of widgets to link up and connect together to make this work, and it can get a little bit tricky. So if you are ready for this, let's go. We're gonna cover two different scenarios. The first one is going to be a bulk purchase. This is a product that has a limited amount of stock, but you're going to allow them to purchase as much as they want as long as it's within that stock. And the second one is going to be single purchase. This is where your users can pick one product and only one product within a limited stock. So for all of this to happen, we need four things. We need our payment gateway, we need an inventory widget, we need a ticket purchasing widget, and then we also need the form calculation. I told you, buckle up, here we go. So I already have the name and the email, so let's go ahead and start with the inventory first. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my widgets, and we're gonna type in inventory right here. All right, so we can see that right here in the description, it says three pounds at $20 each. We want to be sure to name the product and the price in here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is alpha and it is $25, perfect. And the available quantity, let's say I have 100 available. So we can see alpha 25 and we have 100 remaining. So this one is our bulk, right? So let's go ahead, let's let's name this bulk so that way we know they can purchase as many as they want up to 100 because that's what we have available. So next, let's add in the ticket purchases. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in. So now over on and let's go ahead and do We'll name this one single purchase because we had bulk purchase and now single purchase. So we can see we have starting budget standard and premium and we have different stock limits. So let's go over on the right. Let's go ahead and put some prices into these. So let's say we have this one is going to be 50. This one is going to be 100. Oop, now it's inside the curly bracket. This one's going to be 100. We'll add back in the curly bracket. Standard will be 125 and then premium is whoop, 200, then we have the curly bracket, good deal. And so for this, because it is a single purchase, we want the minimum and the maximum to both be one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one in the minimum, one in the maximum, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and update widget. Now we are going to utilize the form calculation widget. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in form calculation right here. All right, so now we are going to combine our bulk purchases with our single ticket item purchases to be paid at once. So over in the form calculation widget, I'm going to add a field and I'm going to choose the bulk. We're gonna do that first. Now, because they can purchase more than one, we are going to use the multiplication, okay? So we're going to times it by 25 and that is all we need for the bulk purchase. Now we're gonna add in the single ticket, we're gonna add a plus sign, then we're gonna put this equation in parentheses. So now we're gonna add field and we're gonna choose the ticket type and then close parentheses and then save. Whew. All right, now let's add in our payment field. I'm gonna go ahead up to payments and I'm just gonna choose PayPal personal for this. And then over on the left-hand side, we can see that we have the payment type. So from here, instead of selling products, we want it to be a user-defined amount. So if I choose that, it's gonna ask me, where am I going to pull this from? So right here where it says get price from, we want it to pull from the calculation. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my email up at the top. I'm gonna to click save, then we're gonna give this a test. Something else that you can do is now that we have our calculation and we have our payment gateway set up, we can actually choose this calculation and we can come to advanced and we can hide this field. It's still going to work, but if we leave it in there, it's just going to be two pretty much of the same field because it's going to be calculating and it's also going to be adding my products. So let me go ahead and do preview form. All right, so we have our bulk we have our single ticket item, and then we have our My Products. We have the calculation that is hidden, but it's still working behind the scenes. So let's say I want two of the alpha, that should be 50. 
perfect. And let's say I want to choose the budget option, which is $100. So this should come out to be $150. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing this option, first, definitely check out the help article. It lists all of those steps as well as the calculation that I just went through. But if you have any questions, definitely let us know and I'll see you next time.